rolling. Welcome back, ambitious babes. Welcome, welcome. We are back here at Spencer's Coffee. Thank you, Spencer, for allowing us to set up in your courtyard again. We love it here. Another wonderful day. Um, I can't believe that we're actually not freezing out here. So it's great. Well, we are going to talk a little bit about, I'm not going to lie, one of my favorite topics today. <laughs> but no one can guess what it is. <laughs> well, it's probably like down to like two jobs now. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about fashion. Fashion. Um, fashion for anybody, for those who are mid-size, plus size, we're going to talk about it today. Um, because evidently, it's something that you all really want to know about. <laughs> Everybody wants to know about fashion. I was like really shocked by that. Um, you know, Chelsea and I definitely had like a vision when we started this vlog. Um, <laughs> and I don't think either one of us would qualify ourselves as a fashion expert. Definitely not me, Sarah, maybe, but not me. No, definitely. I just like clothes. But likes an understatement i've seen your closet it's an understatement she helped me move recently <laughs> we're hopefully hopefully going to be eventually building so we need to our house and move in and chelsea and another one of my friends helped us move into the rental well it's a lot okay i just look at this but um i do i'm a shop on a budget kind of girl definitely have uh, a philosophy when it comes to dressing at any size. Um, I think like, if you want to wear it, girl, just wear it. Except if it's white for Labor Day. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, okay? I'm just kidding. There's a winter white and then there's a white. I know that fashion rule has gone out the door a long time ago. Maybe not that long ago, but I'm trying it. But anyway, I'm serious. Like, I, I think if you want to wear it, um, go for it. I cannot stand seeing these things on social media where a girl is wearing something and someone in the comments does not find it flattering and they just go to town on her. Like, I just can't even handle that. And you know what? A lot of times it's another woman. Not all the time, but... I just hurts hurts my soul. Um, so that's my like first thing. Like, wear what makes you comfortable, um, what you like. But beyond that, I feel like, and I, I hear this a lot, especially from my mid-size and plus-size women. Like, I don't like to try on clothes. I don't want to try on clothes. You know, I'm not comfortable. Like, I have girlfriends that legitimately, I don't even think they know really what size they are. Um, that was me before I met Sarah. <laughs> I feel like, and Chelsea can attest to this, like, you have got to try clothes on. You have got to figure out what is flattering on you, what, you know, and what you enjoy. Um, don't I, let the size get to you, though, because yeah. when you try it on... You may be an extra large at one place and you may be a medium at another place. Like, you don't know. Don't let the sizes bog you down when you try it on either. It is, the fashion industry is all over the place. I mean, how many of you are with me now? How many of you have been to Old Navy before and you've tried on something and you're like, who size this? Like, this is not even, am I lying? You no, know, it like, is so true. So, like, don't let that get in the way. And, like, it, it, what the in the back of your jeans or the back of your shirt it, it doesn't matter you know just you want to be dressed so you are comfortable and then you are confident more than anything but you, you you're gonna have to try some clothes on and you're gonna have to find like what brands you like what size you are and you've got to be willing to step outside the box as far as what you're typically gravitate to. We're always going to gravitate. I, I'm a solid color separates girl. Like, everything in my closet is probably a solid color. I could wear she's got her black on. I don't know. A, a black dress and I'm not even lying about this. I could wear a black dress every single day for a month and not repeat. Because I want black dresses with you. 
which are, you know, a little unique, but I think accessories goes a long way with it. We are definitely accessories people. I think both of us love accessories. You can have an all black closet, you can have an all white closet, you can have like just solids all day, but accessories like will set your outfit off, I think. And I was never that person until I met Sarah. Cause you know what, one pair of earrings can take an outfit to a whole nother level. to her eloquent because I hear her talk about it every day. <laughs> like for me and my body type, they fit me. But it and it takes it took me branching out, ordering some clothes, sending things back. Um, but they the clothes are not just standard size clothes cut larger. They're actually cut for a plus size mid size figure. And they make accommodations like they have clothes that are meant for girls who have, you know, a smaller waist that are bigger than the hips and thighs, or the, the opposite of that, if you're thicker than the midsection like me, um, you know, they have all the kind of different variations, um, I love that, and they have like two lines, they have one that's um, sold at the Eloquent store, and then they have an Elements brand that they sell at their store, um, but they also sell at Walmart, which I love that as well, it's just um, still the same great quality. Um, just a little bit less of a price, and they're more like staple items. But anyway, enough about that, because you're going to hear about that. She can talk about Eloquy all day long. I really wanted just to talk to you about like, not being scared to get out there and try stuff. Like, and you don't have to spend a fortune doing it. I am a bargain shopper. I don't buy anything unless it's on sale. Rarely, anyway. Um, and like Chelsea said, I accessorize like people are like oh you never wear the same thing and I'm like yeah I did girl you just don't notice it because I accessorize it differently um I also believe in the power of layers um like for instance I have on this it's a little bit more fitted top um and I didn't want a little off the shoulder but I, I wanted to add an extra layer so I wasn't like all you didn't see was you know anything rubber tire in here. Um, so I they want a layer. Like, I love how Chelsea's styling this denim jacket today. Um, like, just adding that layer gives you some good dimension. I think that's very flattering. Um, but I, I just, I do love fashion. I love clothes. Um, you know, I'm not going to say that I'm rocking it out at a 10 every single day. But I dress to be confident. I dress just to show my pride in myself and that I dress to be, you know, I don't know what word I'm looking for. Like, I just, I dress for me, you know. Of course, I dress appropriately for my job, um, but I dress for me and what I like. Um, I do like the glitz and the glam and the bold and, uh, y'all, glitz and glam, bold is Sarah's definition. Like, Sarah is dressed to the nines every day. Every day. Always on point. I don't know quite about that, but I'm, I'm usually dressed to my mood. Maybe I'll keep a diary of Sarah's outfits every day for y'all. I 
I'm usually dressed in my mood. Like today was one of those days um, when I was dressed for work that I just had a really hard time getting ready because it was just, like everybody has those days like where you put out an outfit that you had either in your head or already laid out and it just didn't work. You're like you're like this looks terrible. What was I thinking? And you like go to the next outfit and you're like, did I buy this? Like how is this even working for me? And I think more it's up here for us than anything. Um, but, like, I, everybody has those days for sure. Um, but I just want to get the point across that I want you to be confident in yourself and not be the, that person who, just because of your size, that you're not dressing yourself and being happy with how you look. Because um, I do think sometimes how you look and sometimes be it a reflection of how you feel. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong that when you look good, you feel good. 100%. So, and also, don't feel like you have to dress a certain age because you're a certain age either. Like, Sarah could tell you, I rock my dinosaur converse. Like, I love vans. Like, I, I'm a very casual person. Um, but, like, you don't have to dress your age. Like, I feel like rock your style you can always try new things you don't have to rock one style you can be boho one day you can be athletic the next day like you can you can be all over the board uh, but like like i'm a super casual person i rock my airplane sorry um but i rock my leggings and airy sweatshirt on a regular basis I'm a boss. I, it's like a, almost an everyday thing but like sarah said like when i dress up though like I was one of those people that was not confident in my body. Like, I wore the bulky stuff because, like, I wanted to hide my body. And I was never open about that to anyone because I have always come off as a very confident person. I have always just had that demeanor, I guess. And a lot of people did not know that I was struggling with the way that I looked and did not know I was struggling with my self-image because I like to hide that from people. Um, but, like, when I started working with Sarah, um, I kind of, like... The way that she rocks her outfit, y'all, like, she does dress to the nines, like I said. But, like, just seeing her, like, rock her outfits and the way that she just, like, takes pride in the way that she looks, like, really got me thinking that, okay, I need to take pride in my body. I need to take, conf like, I need to be confident in myself. And then, like, like, own it, Chelsea. Yes. And then, like, this past, like, year and a half, you can ask Sarah, my, my outfits have changed. Like, She's I have... I like have really gotten into fashion. I've gotten into makeup. Like I mean, she comes in the work. <laughs> She's like, you rock that. Like, don't get me wrong. I still rock my Vans and Converse all the time. But like, I make it work with my outfit. I make myself feel good. But like, I have really gotten interested in fashion. I've gotten interested in the makeup and the jewelry. Like, like I said, we love our accessories. You know, but like, you got to take pride in your body and don't be ashamed i know we talked about it in, in our last coffee talk but like don't be ashamed in like the way that you look um and just because like you see a certain style on one size girl does not mean you can't wear it like it may look different but you gotta rock it in your own way yeah i think if you put it on and you feel confident wearing it like you're like damn girl i look good and all this TikTok stuff that's going around about the skinny jeans and side parts. Identity crisis. <laughs> There's no skinny jeans on. <laughs> Y'all, Sarah has been so upset about wanting to try a middle part because people are saying that the side so part and skinny out. jeans like, did I talk are out. About this? Did I talk about the fact that I had a widow thing, y'all? <laughs> like, I'm not. Do you all remember the old Munsters? I think it was the Munsters. Yeah. Like, the, um, what was the kid's name? Had the Wednesday? The, no, that was oh. the girl. The girl, the, the boy that had the. Uh, oh, I don't the boy, you know who I'm talking about. They had like the widow's feet. Like I just feel like that's what I would look like on the center part. I don't know. Like I'm getting my hair did this Friday, so I'll talk to her about it. But <laughs> I don't see the side part going anywhere. You know, it's just, it's just me. And just because it's out of style does not I mean, mean it's out of style. You can make this, it work. Look at these big old curls. Ain't nobody rocking these big old curls with me anyway. So <laughs> I'm already got my own thing going. But create your own style. It doesn't have to be on trend. Like you can keep your closet relevant without blowing money every day on new clothes or blowing money every month 
for like the new season changes and stuff you can make stuff work like this is a fall dress but i also am making it work for the springtime because it has flowers you know just make it work for you like i don't think you have to shop like the big brands like i do love ellis lee but like i have clothes from everywhere like i have clothes from yesterday at work um we were talking and, and somebody was like oh i like your sweater oh thanks i got this at walmart and like walmart and i'm like yeah we okay. love walmart so i mean like you can get good stuff anywhere i do have a lot of stuff from target they have some really cute spring tops right now and maybe we'll do a haul we'll do a haul we'll, do a haul. we'll show some things that we have like like Sarah says, like it does not have to be the big braids. I love some old navy. Don't get me wrong, the sizes are all jacked up, but I, I love old navy too. I love old navy. They have I a love Target right now. It's in my cart. Yes, they have cute stuff, but like I also shop a few. That's like I would shop Sheen. I shop Boo Boo. Never, never shopped Sheen before. And the sizes are all jacked up on that, but I maybe we'll do a couple different hauls from different places and just show you all the stuff that we got because. Let me tell you, sometimes when you see it, like a picture online, it looks cute. You get it. It may not work. It may like look fantastic on you. You don't know. do some videos of that um but we really do we've had a lot of people reach out about local fashion oh, yeah, yeah. and so like i i know a few local places around here but like it could be anywhere in kentucky like i want y'all to share that with us because we would love to like promote small business like i am very especially I'm very for strong. size inclusive yes um i love places that are size inclusive um, for mid mid size and plus size girls because i think going into places where, you know, like a 10, 12 might be the biggest size they have is a little daunting. Like, I want to rock that cute sweater, but I need it to be more better. And let me tell y'all, I, I hate my small girls. I love y'all too. Yeah, we love everybody, but just for like, when we shop for ourselves, like me, going into Aerie, it took me years to go into Aerie because all you see is like the smaller sizes really. But when I go into Aerie, like, I tried on my first sweatshirt from there. Y'all, like, their sizes run really big. It's super comfortable. And, like, it took me a little bit to get comfortable yeah. with it because you go in and you do see all the, like, young girls wearing all Do you know what I like about Aerie, though? Like, I don't know if you all – I shop online a lot. I – what I really do like about Aerie – do you shop online for them? Mm -hmm. Do you notice that how their advertising has changed? Yes. It's like, their – even their models – or more size inclusive there's stretch marks on there y'all like there's some real stretch marks on some of these models and i'm like okay all right i was like i'm i'm liking that you know we're living in a world where all of us here are not size zero and guess what we have stretch marks and look now they look like me like those people wearing those clothes look like me now yeah i love it and i a lot more I feel like a lot more businesses are going that yeah. way and because you know like it you want to reach the vast majority I guess and I feel like so many businesses like Aerie like the American Eagles and the places like that like sometimes girls like me get a little scared to go in there and try it out but, by it. yeah but I I love some Aerie y'all that like half my closets their sweatshirts but, I have one now because of Chelsea. But, um, 
we'll continue on with fashion stuff. Like we said, we are not experts by any means on anything. Um, but we'll share. Um, and then the more you tell us that you want to want to see, we'll we'll just get it out there. And it might take us a little time, but we'll definitely get it out there. And with the seasons changing and the spring lines starting to come out, um, definitely share with you guys. We're, we're going to grow. <laughs> but I'll definitely um, share my favorite accessory spots. Um, one of my favorite places is a local place. Um, and I will definitely share that with you guys. Um, but yeah. Yep. Anything else? I think that's it. We'll, can, we'll, we'll add like links and stuff to our videos. We're going to learn how to do all this stuff. We're going to work on it. I, I know I say this every time, guys. But like every video is going to be a little better. We're still at Spencer's. We're still in the same spot. You're still roped to the tree. But I think it's a win. Yes. You're getting real life. Okay? We don't have anybody in the background editing our videos. Still have it. Filming editor. us. I'm still controlling you from a watch. I gotta pull it up because we're almost done. <laughs> but I'm really impressed with myself. Like, continue to spread the word to you guys. Like we would love to hear from lots of people, different age ranges, different subscribe. body types. To our um, website. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, Twitter page, all the things. We're building our lifestyle brand. We are. We have. We're like I say we. We're, we're just building this plan as we're quiet, but we want you along for the ride. Um, and I am blown away by the positive. Um, just all the positive things you guys have to say. So just keep it up and stay with us. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you.